Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome back to my channel today. I'm hanging out with my sister, Mo. Hey everybody. And we are gonna be testing some more kitchen gadgets. <laughs> We're gonna test them yep. and tell you which ones are amazing and which ones are just crap. <laughs> Please do us a favor and give this video a thumbs up. And Molly, without further ado, are you ready to test some kitchen gadgets? I am ready, let's go. All right, so the first gadget is called the dumpling cube. Molly, opening this feels like, oh, oh feels oh. like a Rubik's cube. This is supposed to save time, be a little bit more efficient. So over here, Molly, we're gonna put these in here. So then we're gonna take a little bit of filling, just put it in the middle. Okay, now take a little bit of water, Molly, and just put it around the side so that they'll stick together. All right, Molly, now in the instructions, line this up good. Okay. And then give it a fold. Then you fold it you to just fold it together. Quickly. And you push, no, you just push it and push, push it down. Mm. This is supposed to, instead of having to individually make one at a time, then you're kind of making four a little quicker. So okay. let's, so let's try it. Let's see what we got. Okay. Well, okay. This one did not close. <laughs> we still have still to, to hand pinch it, pinch it yeah. which takes the time. Their tagline is, let's make dumplings cool. Oh. How does that make them cooler though? It just is supposed to save time, but look, if you just do dumpling in your hand. Yeah, let's do that. Easier. Boo, little water all the way around. Look at this, you guys. Oh, wow. And boom, handmade dumpling. I'm gonna give this a pass. I don't like this for one reason and one reason only. Nope. I lied, two reasons. Two, okay. I don't like this because you still have to pinch it by hand, mm -hmm. so it doesn't do that for you. And I don't like how it folds it. And I don't like that I have to clean this. So this is a waste of time for me. It says it also makes apple pies or spinach ricotta. Like you could do multiple okay. things in here. And I'm like, I don't know. You could do that with just these. Put your little apple pie filling in there and pinch together. You don't need a device. I would give it a one star because it didn't even work. Like, look at the picture. Like, look at the pinch lines, how pretty they are in the picture. It says it makes it does not make four It does not do this. All right, next gadget is this Perfect Wedge six blade slicer. And you're supposed to just put something on the top, push the green thing down, and then you got wedges. I love this idea. I hope this works. Wait, oh, so how do you do you it, You put Molly? it on here first. This, you put it on here? Yeah. Wait, now the blade, do you do the pointy? Wait, oh. this way or this way? I would assume this way. Oh also. no, it goes the other way. Okay, wait, let's try it now. And I need to put some yeah, of my body need, on it. Put okay, a let's put some weight on put it. Put some weight here. on there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Whoa! That was hey, beautiful. That actually worked. That worked out really wonderfully. Okay, let's try it with a cucumber. <laughs> This, yes! Try tomato. Oh no, aren't they gonna juice me? Well, we'll see, maybe it'll be like a nice clean cut. I'm kind of a fan of this gadget. Like if you want those nice One, slices. One, two, just do it. Beautiful, look at that! Throw it in a salad, are you kidding me? This thing is great. Wait, wait, oh but it's so tall. How do you line it up? Oh, there we go. Perp. Hello. It's beautiful. I kind of like it. Even they have a grip on the bottom. I so when you're sitting here, it has like a little grip. Do you think grip. it would work for like, oh, no. What? I was gonna say slice and black olives. You know how it's so annoying to slice all the black go get olives? A, go get an olive. These are drink safe slicing. Cause okay. you know, if you've had a drink, a margarita, and you want to do some lime wedges, but you don't want to have a knife. <laughs> Ta-da. This is great. If it's really small, it might get a little stuck. Okay, but so maybe not olives. Scratch that idea. Lemons and limes though, right on. I gotta be honest, usually I say just use a knife. With this, for certain veggies and fruits, yeah. I would use this. I like that it goes with gravity. Yeah. And I like that it lines up, that you can't mess it up. Like, it has, it has handles, clean. easy to clean. Love this. I'm giving it a five. Five, agreed. I'm a fan, and it's not that big to store. No, teeny to store, you could stack it. Look at that, it's as big as a glass, okay. a cup. Check to this one, we have Easy. a one. The next gadget is a waffle iron. Not just any waffle iron, Molly, this is a waffle iron for ants. It's this so small. It's this big, and it's, it's so called tiny. the Pineapple Mini Waffle Maker. Mini is right. And their slogan is, mini is mighty, which I agree with cute. as a mini person. Very cute. But this is what I'm not understanding. Family fun, whip up tasty snacks for the whole family. This would take this so long. The thing I like is that they do do impressions. Like That's cute. Leaving the little impression into the waffle. So I'm gonna try to do this. That should be good, because it'll 
flatten a little when you I think it. so. I think this is perfect. I could have gone a little bit more generous, but it's about a third cup. Okay, this All right. is once Press the waffle is cooked to your preference, okay. remove it from the cooking surface with a heat resistant nylon or silicone cooking utensil. What is this with all their times on here? It's when their customer support is available to call. It's the different time zones in the US. Who is calling them? <laughs> For this. Hey, it's me. I can't figure out how to make a waffle. They even oh, in look, here. it worked. Okay, that is adorable. Okay, the design is really cute. I love the design. I would give this like three to four stars. Okay, it did work. It is adorable. I just don't like how small it is. I would love it if this had like four grids, so you could make four at a time. Well, I'm still giving it like a three to four star because wow. I'm not sold. It just needs to make more faster. I want more, and for that reason, I'm out. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's Shark Tank. <laughs> All right, next up is a bowl that you will apparently never have to eat soggy cereal again. It's humongous. It's huge. So it's kind of heavy, too, because it's storing it. Has, it like, don't love that. You can't but, stack it. So it's the never eat soggy cereal again, the original crispy bowl. It says it's patent. It says wow. it's a spiral slide design. It's made in the US of A. And it's BPA free and it's food safe polypropylene. Oh. How do you say that word? It's a science word. Polypropylene. There you go, Molly. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Dishwasher and microwave safe. Well, I agree with the dishwasher. Don't microwave anything in plastic, even if it says it's safe. Okay, tip. Start with some cereal in the bottom section too. Then just swoop and scoop. So the milk and a little bit of cereal goes in here. Then you have your dry cereal, and so you just well, swoop just, it down and, it's and weird scoop. Why don't you just have two separate bowls if you're gonna do all that? Here's why I like it. Edamame, okay? I mean my edamame. And then I have the peel. So for those, I gotta put in a separate bowl. Okay, let's try it their way. Okay. Which kind of seems opposite, that you pour the milk in first. Cause then I really just don't know how much milk to pour. Cause I base how much milk I'm gonna pour off of how much, off cereal of how much cereals yeah, in there. Yeah, you have to figure out so whole this, new ratio. This really. is a whole new, you gotta calculate, Molly. Okay, you gotta put it in the top. Okay. And then a little in the bottom, it said. Little. Okay. Okay. So then first, Okay, you... get it going, Molly. This is oat milk, you can try this. Okay. Yeah, show them how it's done. Mm -hmm. Now, Molly, pretend that we've been here for a while, and then you gotta swoop and scoop. Let's see if it's still soggy, or okay. is it gonna like? Is this solving swoop a problem? It, swoop it down. Let's scoop it. You get some of the soggy ones. Yeah, some of the fresh ones. Mm -hmm. I mean, otherwise, what do you have to like? Just get the fresh ones and dip it in. I don't want to poop on this thing yet, but it's like, what is this thing? Is this for your hand to rest in here? Is it like this? It rests on your belly? <laughs> I feel like too, like what if you, I mean maybe that's why it's so heavy at the bottom so you don't accidentally knock it over. Get in there, get in there, down the slide, down the slide. All right, swoop and scoop, swoop and scoop. But what's the difference between that and just pouring a little bit more into the box? I hate this. <laughs> I don't want to do this. I just feel like this is not a problem sweeping the nation that anyone needs to solve. You just pour a little bit of cereal and then eat it. And then if you want a little bit more, you could do a little more. I'm trying this with edamame. Look at this. Nom, 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 nom. I like the idea of a double kind of bowl, like a separated bowl. Like I actually think that's a cool idea, but this is hideous. Like this looks like the $3 red Walmart bowl that I bought when I first started baking on YouTube. And for that, <laughs> we're out. Okay, our next gadget I am so curious about. It is the <laughs> singing, floating pasta timer. And it is this little man that you're supposed to put in boiling water with pasta. And he sings or whistles different melodies. That's Amore is three minutes. The Godfather theme is seven minutes. The Tarantella is nine minutes. Oh, the Tarantella. And the Prisoner's Choir is 11 minutes. I and don't know that one. That one doesn't ring a bell. It's just this man me. with a guitar. He's smoking a stogie and has sunglasses on. Molly, why is that our dad? That's Papa Pizza. Does he have a mustache? He has a mustache. He has <gasps> oh a mustache. Gosh. Has the cigar, the sunglasses. Cease and, and little, desist. And You're stealing my dad. <laughs> That's likeliness. <laughs> if this sings songs, there has to be a battery in there. And you put it in the food? food okay, safe. guys, the only thing that sucks Wait. is I don't know if this is food safe. It says it is, but like. Does it? I literally see nothing that says food safe BPA or whatever. So. <laughs> okay, this is terrible. You guys, let's try this. <laughs>
Oh, here we go. I'm just gonna take this off. I'm gonna put them in, and Molly, you put the pasta in. Okay. Are you ready, set, go. Is he supposed to sink? And then, oh, he's got a hole on the head. Did he just beep? Yeah, he just beeped. Okay, so we have a timer going over here that's just kind of keeping track. This pasta cooks in 11 minutes, and it says, you know, 11 minutes is the last song, so that's like when your pasta should be done. So we have two different timers. A few moments later. The singing floating pasta timer is not working. He's beeped at us twice so far. I wonder if he's warming up his vocal cords. That's three minutes. Thank you, Jules. Just like a pasta was all you in love. There's definitely a battery in there. Cause it's not like whistling. Like that is definitely an electronic in there. That's there definitely is a an electronic battery in there. Cooking in with our pasta. Okay, I'm just saying we're this, Italian. This could not be Italian. There, Let me just see. It does not say <gasps> made in Germany. <laughs> Made in Germany, everybody. An Italian would never. Okay, well his timer did work. At three minutes, he started playing the song. This thing has a lithium <laughs> CR2 battery in it. No, no. Just set a timer on your phone? Yeah. Instead of sticking a battery in your pasta. I never thought I would have to say this because I thought this was common sense, but we're just gonna say it. Do not put batteries in your food. And boil it together. They're don't, cooking. It's well, battery don't, pasta. Don't do this. Plastic is, battery pasta. This is lithium. Is this even BPA? This is. Well, there's the seven minute song, so. <laughs> this is what you make for somebody when you want revenge. This is a revenge pasta. <laughs> you know what, screw all this. I got a vinyl record of Frank Sinatra. Just put Frankie on, listen to two songs, and done. The pasta will be done in two songs. I want to hear the Tarantella. Hey. Okay, well, you guys, you see this box? Stay away. Honestly, I the longer he's the in there, the song. more I see him cracking apart. Like, he's opened up at the seam on the side. A little too much for him, I guess. Let's just turn this off. And Let's this just is turn that off. Zero stars. That was awful. Molly, I'm just like, like for safety, I'm not even gonna touch it. Don't. I'm just gonna like, just move it. Get out. Next up is the Dream Mind Hand Blender. This is actually, <laughs> did you get your nose with that? What just I happened? I thought this was the on button. Uh huh. And so I just grabbed the base and it oh. turns out this is the on button. Okay, good to know. Okay, now okay. we know how that works. This is actually from one of my, <laughs> You can't oh set it up, gosh. the thing is there. There's like a setting at the bottom. It's like a one, to, it's like a speed setting on the bottom of it. Else. They should definitely put that somewhere else. Like, like you want to be able to stand it up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is this thing? What's this jobber? It's like a five in one hand blender. Five? I think they're exaggerating you guys because it does four things. It, it emulsifies, whisk. boom. It whisks, boom. It has like a it processor. Froths. And it processes. That's four things. They're trying it's to like count the smoothie this bowl or whatever. as it does something. This is not a feature. This is a cup. It's a cup. So the idea is, is that you can swap all of these little attachments out and you just have one device to do everything, which I love. I love companies that make things easier for you. What should we make with this whisk? Are we making whipped cream? Let's make some whipped cream. Okay, so Molly, pour that cream in there and I'm gonna get to bacon. Okay, whip that up. Let's get Let's some whipped cream. Let's do it. Okay. Oh, and you have to hold it down. So it's kind of like. Oh, you can't even just turn it on. I kind of wish the bottom part had a grip on it because it's just like it can, it, can just, it can just go wherever. It says don't run it, the whisk, for more than two minutes. Well, then we better put it on turbo. So fine tuning on. Oh, it is up to the top. Yeah. Okay, 
somebody got a little too crazy. <laughs> Molly, just hear me out on this. Okay. This is not that much fluid. We use the recommended <laughs> amount. You should be able to hit all the settings. So it did get thicker, but I mean, we don't have a whipped cream. Okay, so the whisk does work. Does I just work. don't like making whipped cream in here because, you know, <laughs> you don't get a lot. And look at the splatter. I mean, the splatter is <laughs> awful. Oh, yeah, that definitely has to do with the, the yeah. blender. Coconut wants a bite. I'll give her a little bite. She She's being a good girl. All right, we did a little quick cleanup, and now we're gonna test out the immersion blender, my favorite. I'm so excited. This will be making hummus. Yeah. This is the immersion attachment. Water. If you guys didn't know what one looked like, they got a little blade in here, and then this little thing around it. I don't get it, but I like it. Okay, All right, now Molly. make sure to go up. No, you can do it. Oh, okay. Yeah, Molly. It's slowly getting in there. Do you want to hit the turbo or are you scared of it? Let's go. Ooh, you can hear kick up the Hey, Top that's pretty it. good. That's pretty good. This is great. Look at this, Molly. Okay, that looks like legit hummus. You know what? I got one gripe with it. I see one chickpea. Look at this one chickpea left. He is scopied. <laughs> he did. He just gave me, but that's pretty good. Okay. Actually, that's pretty good texture. Immersion blender works. I said that was a pass. That's actually pretty bomb. That's good. All right, let's make our coffees fancy. I've got the little frother at the end. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna pop the melt. I see bubbles. It's really shaking. Like that kind of scares me. Can it even handle turbo? Let's turn that down before you go. Turn it down. Never, Molly. Turn her up. How do you know when it's done? You smell smoke. See, the only thing I don't like about this is it says don't mix for over two minutes because even with the whisk, when you're making meringue, usually you whisk it for about five to eight minutes. So that's why I like the KitchenAid stand mixer or even the hand mixers. They can handle going five to eight minutes. Yeah. Only doing two minutes and then it smells like it's catching on fire. I mean, that's froth. Yeah, I don't usually do this. I'm not a foamy girl. What do you think? It's fun. This is hot. Molly, feel how warm this is. It's like a hand warmer. Oh. <laughs> it's like on fire. Ooh. I can't. That's not great. I hate that you can't stand it up. This is just ridiculous. It, it, it's not great. Okay, what's the next attachment? You put the nuts in there. Okay. We're gonna chop some nuts. Let's chop them up. Let's process these nuts. Okay. And this is how I now cut up hard candies, Oreos. I don't use the plastic bags anymore and pound them. That was old Ro before she knew that <laughs> that's not good for you. Get her. That's regular, real That's loud. loud. And now let's hit turbos. Everybody watch your sound, here we go. Lovely. Nice. Other than that you can't use it for past two minutes, everything else has worked. Also, I still don't see anything that says BPA. BPA food safe? <laughs> yeah. Like this is made out of plastic? This. Yeah. What kind? This works, all of the attachments work. We just wish it was higher quality. I give it a three. Give yeah. it a three. It does what it says it will do. This could be so great. Next gadget, people are really out here, Molly, trying to find easier ways to cut scallions. This one is similar to one we tested before, but this one has this little plastic jobber okay. right here to perhaps stabilize our little onion a little better. I'd love here. something more stable. So I'm gonna go with the smaller end okay. and put that here. Still, you have to push towards the blade, like your finger's going towards the sharp part. The center part does stabilize better. And it's working, it's coming okay. through. I'm gonna say that is something I like. Oh, Jesus, wait. Oh. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's like a little I mean, octopus. That got a little crazy there. Little... Wow. Okay, that seemed a lot easier than the other one. I like that it curls them. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a little elevated. Ooh, what's this thing? Let's just try that. Do you want me to pull it? Yeah, pull that. Okay. What's that? Is that? Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I don't like that either. I like this way more than the first one, but I just still don't necessarily think it's necessary. Yeah, I'd prefer a knife and I just like to chop them. But if you were in the market for a scallion slicer, this one is way better. I oh, mean, we I... got a jam. Oh, we got a Okay, so it only works if it's fully firm. Oh, so you even have to have like a you, really good. You have to have like a perfectly cut one. Okay, this just went down to a two for this me. This just went to a two. The first one was so great. The never ending search for the perfect scallion slicer continues. Okay, next up we have this gadget. It is a cake froster leveler thing. It's so cool. It's supposed to get the top and the sides at the same time and make a crisp 
edge around it. And I can't wait. It was less than five dollars. Yeah. So this could be a really cool trick for just if it works. Up the frosting. Let's see if it's going to save us time. And then I'm just going to be doing it by hand over here. Buttercream all the way around. Do, 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 do. Oh my <laughs> God, Molly. <laughs> I'm going to see if this tool is going to help me fix you want, it. All right, you ready? Yeah. Set. Let's just see what it does. A little freehand versus this fancy tool. All right. How's it going for you, Molly? I don't know yet. I feel like I'm just scraping off a lot. Okay. Pop it in the refrigerator. Let it chill 30 minutes. And, then... and all the imperfections just smooth out. <laughs> think this is it. What just happened? Molly, no. Yeah, because it just like goes and, and scrapes. How does it, it took... come off? How does the frosting come off? I was it's... trying to get it even, but it just pulled off a total chunk of oh, frosting from here. That's not good. Okay. And on the side, and like okay. there's like bubbles that aren't totally filled in. You know, I've helped you ice a bunch of cakes before, yeah. and I don't think this helped me at all, and so I don't think it's gonna help a beginner baker. Thank you, Molly. <laughs> No, it needs a little extra love. See, just when you're doing it by hand, it's spreading so much better. I hate it. I hate it. See, that's what I'm saying. It's not even on the bottom. I hate it. I hate this. I hate this. Don't do this. Don't, Don't do, do this. You guys, I'm telling you, offset spatula, it's really such a fun skill to learn how to do, and you will learn it so much faster. No. Zero stars. Zero stars. This is our <laughs> last product for the video. I'm so excited. This is how I got Molly to come do this video with me today. I promised wine. And here we are. And here we are. This is a wine cooler, and it's actually kind of like a wine thermos because mm -hmm. it just keeps your wine cold. Correct. Supposedly. So we had both of these bottles in the fridge all night and took them out about seven hours ago. So one would warm up to room temp, and then we will see how cold this one is still yeah. after seven hours. Okay. So this you is totally open room temperature. So I I don't need to open this. Nobody wants warm we know that's white up. wine. Try Molly, tell me right now, are you red wine or white wine? White. Me too. So this is like basically a Stanley mug for your champagne. It's, oh, a, it's cold. It's a little I chilly. Mean, it's not as cold if it was still in the fridge. It's cold to the touch. Let's try it. <laughs> oh yeah, twist off, that's how we do it. Okay. Cheers, let's see if it's chilly. Tea is for party. <clears throat> What, what is, is for you? Cause you know what to do. So bye. The bottle is cold to the touch, but the wine is not. It says it can last up to 12 hours. It didn't even make it to seven. This no. is not it. Just bring a cooler instead or just pour it into your Stanley. Oh my God. <laughs> I did not think of that. Apparently, like, the big Stanley's would fit a whole bottle. Have you tried this? No. Another thing about this is that it doesn't fit all wine bottles. Did not fit this one. It doesn't close. And then I've got some boobs. This is so sweet. Rebecca and Matt gave me this for my birthday. Mike, I still have to drink this. Oh. Oh, that doesn't fit around the neck. Doesn't fit on the neck. If I can't bring a boob in it, get out of here. <laughs> get oh out of here. Oh my god, I spilled some. <laughs> we don't want you. There's tons of space, you guys. There's this much left. You can put ice cubes in there. Molly, that is amazing. Okay. You don't need this. <laughs> Just, Just get, get a Stanley. A Stanley. <laughs> Molly, we should play Edward Forty Hands. What? I'm giving this a one star because it's not adjustable. Mm -mm. You have to get the perfect size wine bottle to put in here. Mm -hmm. What a pain in the butt. This. Better investment. <laughs> you can fit. pick any bottle you want. Refrigerate that. That'll stay cold. That's right. All right, that does it for trying kitchen gadgets. Let us know in the comments down below if you guys would try any of the gadgets that we tried today, or if there's any ones that we haven't tried yet that we need to. We have been doing a lot of these videos lately, so if you guys wanna watch another one, you can click right over here. And if you guys enjoyed this video, help us out, do us a favor, give this video a thumbs up. We would appreciate it.